Why do multiple pregnancies happen? When two or more embryos implant in the endometrial cavity, pregnancies of this kind are generated. They occur in one out of every 80 pregnancies, and non-identical twin pregnancies, which make up two-thirds of multiple pregnancies, are the more frequent of the two. A third of multiple pregnancies are of identical twins. What are the differences between identical twins and non-identical twins? Identical twins come from a single egg, which is divided following fertilization. This is known as a monozygotic pregnancy, and it gives rise to practically identical twins because they are genetically the same and are therefore of the same sex. In the case of non-identical twins, two eggs are released during a single menstrual cycle and are fertilized by different sperm cells and give rise to a dizygotic twin pregnancy. These siblings are born at the same time, but they are different and develop in different placentas. What type of special care needs to be taken in pregnancies of this kind? If we take into account that all pregnancies require special attention, then multiple pregnancies call for even greater care. Medical attention needs to be increased since they are categorized as high-risk pregnancies because the number of complications increase both for the mother and for the fetuses themselves. The most common complication is, without a doubt, premature birth, which is five times more common than in single fetus pregnancies. A premature birth can have a number of consequences, as well as the financial and emotional burden it entails when it comes to caring for the children. It's also important to check that correct development of the fetus is carried out. Weight tends to be below that in a single fetus pregnancy, as well as other obstetrical complications, such as high blood pressure and diabetes. This is particularly true during the second half of the pregnancy. In the case of multiple pregnancies, obstetric checks need to be more frequent and in-depth in order to check that fetal development is as expected and that the fetuses are growing at an equal rate. Additionally, the discomfort expected during pregnancy will begin earlier on and be more intense. It is for this reason that Instituto Bernabeu has a unit which specializes in keeping a check on pregnancies of this kind and which we consider to be of high risk. Multiple pregnancies and assisted reproduction. The use of assisted reproduction techniques has been a key element in the increase of multiple pregnancies since more than one embryo is sometimes transferred to the mother in order to increase the chances of pregnancy. The increasing quality of the laboratory, experience and the research carried out by Instituto Bernabeu all come together to optimize all aspects in order to enable selection of a single embryo and transfer of that embryo so that it develops within the mother's womb. Laboratory quality is essential in achieving the very best success rates and pregnancies without having to transfer more than one embryo. No triplets have been born further to treatment in our clinic since 2010. At Instituto Bernabeu, the tendency is to transfer a single embryo. Multiple pregnancies are a complication with assisted reproduction techniques, mainly because of the complications as the pregnancy develops. Nowadays, when we carry out in vitro fertilization, the tendency is towards transferring a single embryo because now our chances are one embryo greater than with the three we would have used some years ago. In fact, when we transfer a single embryo and take into account the possibilities which we have with the additional frozen embryos, we are not less likely to be successful, but on the contrary, likely to be more successful in patients of this kind.